Hola guys, how are you? Good day to my subscribers over here on YouTube, out there at Facebook, and also on TikTok. Guys, in this vlog or episode, I'd like to talk about a very important contributor in the ecosystem of the hobby. In the hobby ecosystem, in other words. This is the local card shops that we have in the Philippines as we speak. And I th I'm asking a question right to you. Are they dying a slow but natural death? So let me, let me answer that in a few minutes or so. All right. But before that, I'd like to invite you to please follow me on Instagram. That would be at timduncan21 underscore card collector. And also, I'd like to invite you to please follow us over at Off Center. That would be my podcast group. My, pod, my podcast all usually happens at around 9 p.m. onwards, Philippine time, every Friday nights. All right? So please follow us over at Facebook, Off Centered. All right? So without further ado, let's discuss how the LCS or the local card shops in the Philippines affect the hobby scene as we speak. Let's go. So before I answer the question, are the LCS or local card shops dying in the Philippines or in its effect in the hobby and their effect in the hobby, I'd like to ask a question to you. How many shops do you think are there in the Philippines? I can name six of them right now. One of them, the first one that I want to mention is actually Courtside because they are the official uh, distributor of Panini products in the Philippines right now, right? Um, Courtside has been in existence since the 90s, all right? It's one of the first card shops that ever existed in the Philippines. So it, I, it's been there since the 1990s and it is located over at Robinson's Galleria or Tigas, all right? They have a few other branches but ang main office nila is in Robinson's Galleria, Ortigas, alright? Second would be um, Fun Hub. It is owned by a friend of mine, Dexter Fajardo. So, shout out to you, Pops. Uh, Fun Hub also gives out boxes, delivers Panini products as well for the market in the Philippines, alright? Next up would be CO. Dot. Um, it is owned by another friend of mine, one of my best friends in the hobby, actually. His name is Kevin Chan. So, Kev, shout out to you. So, hopefully, you're watching this. <laughs> they have branches are all over the Philippines. They've been very, very much active in promoting the hobby and also promoting the hobby of Funko Pops. All right? They are much into Funko Pops, but they are also into basketball cards or sports cards as we speak. Um, they have uh, they have been opening branches left to right. I'm going to share their Instagram account and the list of the branches that they have right now. Um, you should check out their branches as well. Uh, malaking tulong sa hobby yung ginagawa nila um, in promoting the existence of, of, of NBA cards, right? And also, there are others that have been uh, new in the, in the field of um, shops, uh, NBA shops, NBA card shops, and one of them is the uh, what you call this uh, Cards Bros over at E Rodriguez. All right, it is owned by El Rey. Is he is also a friend of mine. All right, they just had a um, trade night a few uh, yesterday actually, and I attended that. All right, and it was very successful. It was a very successful trade night. A lot of people came in. It's a two two story building. And wala pang ganun na alam ko na ginawa ng isang tao for the hobby. It's an eye candy. Napakagandang tingnan. Two-story building siya. And uh, at, on the top floor, there is a lounge for collectors to mingle and also to rest. After they bought boxes over at the, the ground floor. Alright? And there are also singles available there. It's basically a real 
card shop uh, na na nasa gitna ng well, gitna ng city. It's in Quezon City, Rodriguez, Quezon City. All right? So you better check that out as well. Another um um company is actually Unbox Green Hills, um but they cater to a lot of um a lot of uh communities, no, not just NBA card aficionados. All right? But it's there, no. Unbox Green Hills over at Promenade Green Hills, no. And also I'd like to mention this because it's an up, up and coming um, store over at Irod as well, E. Rodriguez, uh, Quezon City, in New Manila. It is called Hobby Stadium. It is owned by big shots in the hobby in the Philippines. So, um, sobrang ganda ng store. Um, they cater to a wide array, array of um, of uh, 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 of collectors, not just cards but also sports buffs all right all right tapakaganda na store nila there are a lot of i can be uh, memorabilia there sobrang ganda na store and there's also a restaurant inside the store the restaurant is also already open all right but yung kanilang um, store hindi pa talaga nag open to the public all right i think it will be opened this um it's opening on january 23 if i'm not mistaken next year Alright, so abangan natin yon. So basically, those are the six uh, card shops that I know that are helping the hobby uh, grow further. Alright, I know there is a market correction of some sorts and people think that the hobby is dying. I don't think so. Alright, so that answers the question na merong mga LCS pa rin na umusbong, meron din mga LCS na existing pa rin. Right now, alright? So, the hobby isn't dying in the Philippines at all, alright? It is still pretty much strong, alright? So, um, so, sinagot ko na yung are they dying or not? They're not, okay? The LCS are, the shops are alive and kicking and, uh, and at a test, at, it's a testament na magbubukas pa yung isa next year, which is the hobby stadium. All right. They also, before I forget, they also have a vaulting service. They also um, do grading. Uh, they submit both to PSA and, and I think BGS, if I'm not mistaken. And also, they also um, are connected with Golden Auctions and also PWCC Auctions as well. So you could actually consign your items with them and have them auctioned at um, at Golden or PWCC short choice. I think. All right. So you better. Drop by the store once it opens and ask them questions about these services that they have. Alright. So, again, so walang, hindi, hindi pa namamatay ang hobby dito sa Pilipinas. So, the LCS are alive and kicking. Alright. The local card shops are alive and kicking. Alright. Ano ang nagagawa ng mga card shops na to for the hobby? It makes it stable and also it makes it grow further. Alright. Why? Because it helps promote the hobby, not just on the online presence, which is also important, no? Because the advent of eBay, online stores, and also online online shops over at Instagram and Facebook as well, and also Shopee and Lazada, as we know, have been um, helpful in the growth of the hobby. But yung iba iniisip that the LCS would die because of the online shops. It won't because the physicality of the cards are very important for the proliferation and the interest of newbies and also the oldies as well. We all like to look at cards. We all like to touch the cards, not just online, right? So, malaking bagay na meron mga LCS. Plus the fact that they also uh, do trade nights like just like what Cards Bros did a night back. Malaking bagay yun. And also, Unbox has this swap meet every, every, um, every month that they do. Um, malaking bagay yung mga yon for the proliferation of the hobby proliferation, proliferation of the newbies in the hobby so malaking bagay yung physicality noon at saka yung camaraderie na, 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 na muusbong na nagagawa ng gatherings na to the small gatherings of uh, the physical gatherings that we have every now and then all right? in regional groups they also have their own um, gatherings in, in Pangasinan, I think they have that, and also Nueva Ecija, and also Pampanga. So, if you think about it, also Dubai and Abu Dhabi. So, shout out to you guys over there. I know you're watching. And 
to be honest, it's a growing community locally, all right? Not just here and also, not just here in the Philippines, but also abroad, meaning the Filipino communities outside of the Philippines are also thriving as well. So, meron dyan, meron Singapore group, merong ibang groups to other countries. You should, you should watch our episodes of that at, over at Off Center, to be honest. Mabibigla kayo na marapakarami palang um, communities outside of the Philippines, Filipino communities, Filipino card communities outside of the Philippines. Grabe, grabe nangyayari sa hobby, even though there are market corrections happening. Alright, so natitira talaga dyan is, are there are the real collectors, to be honest with you. So, Again, no, malaking bagay ang LCS for the growth of the hobby, the ecosystem of the of, of NBA cards or sports cards. Isa sa pinaka malaking contributor dyan are the LCS. So let's support our local card shops in the Philippines. And just like how they did uh, they do things abroad, no, they support their LCS there. We should also support our LCS here. All right? So uh, let's give a shout out to all of those who are uh, who have um, 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 created stores for the growth of the hobby. They took chances, they took risks for this, and that's a big thing for the hobby to proliferate further. All right, so there you go. So thank you very much for watching. Two thumbs up, guys. So sobra sandali lang itong video na to, itong vlog na to. I just want to give a um, um, uh, a tribute of sorts to our local card shops na napakalaki ang bagay, nap napakalaki ang ambag, ang contribution nila to the growth of the hobby locally. Alright, so thank you very much again for watching. I hope you like the video and also please do subscribe to the channel and hope to see you again next week for another vlog or episode here at Revy Mayuyu's Hobby Vlogs. Thank you very much and good day.